Hi, it's Jen from Shabby Fabrics with a really fun block that makes this, I love that diagonal presentation of this table runner. This is American Dream by Riley Blake. I was very inspired by the collection. I like the deeper colors. I think it'd just be really lovely on a table, maybe a summer gathering, fruits and all the things. I just think it's, and it's a nice long length. So limited kits of that available, that'll include everything you're seeing, including the backing. Hey, if even if you're a beginner, uh, you can be absolutely successful. And if you're an experienced quilter, a project like this will be no problem for you. All that it takes to make the block will be uh, the four patch units. You'll make five of those per block and half score triangles. That's all there is to making that block of some tools that we found were really helpful for cutting those two and a half inch strips of course is that creative grid two and a half inch by 24 and a half inch ruler so when you get your fabric in your kit or maybe if you're going to be uh, sewing from home you can be cutting those strips just perfectly at two and a half because the ruler is two and a half inches wide i love that helps me be successful um, so you'll cut those strips from salvage to salvage i've got just a small section here Place those right sides together, both your blue and your red. And so a nice quarter inch seam allowance. In fact, I've got a couple guides on my machine right now. I have the diagonal seam tape from Cluck Cluck Sew and a new uh, guide that I found. Let's just come over here. So this is a kind of a lineup and this has a nice ridge to it. This is my guideline seam guide and what i love about this is it creates this ridge that if i keep my fabric pressed along there i'm going to have a quarter inch seam allowance i want to show you this how how smooth the line is just how consistent that is that's because this has a ridge see my fingernail there this has a, a profile on that and as it there's there's several layers stacked up amazing for getting that just perfect quarter inch seam allowance without that varying like i normally do highly recommended and this of course just helps me line up a little bit sooner but then that ridge, so I love using these two products in combination. So once I have that sewn together, just press to the red or the blue as you prefer. Just keep it the same every single time. That'll give us uh, interlocking seams once we start cutting these sections apart and then sewing them back together into our four patch units. So we're just going to press to the side. And I've done a smaller unit ahead of time. It's already pressed and ready to go. And that's right here. It looks like we pressed to the red as well. So just like any time you strow strips together, the ends are never even. That's where I like to bring in another two and a half inch ruler. But this time, instead of this being that big, longer ruler, it's just shorter, easier to just work with. Line yourself up. And I know if you're an experienced quilter, you already know all this then maybe you are new to sewing. Maybe you did grab that uh, sewing machine and dust that off when we were all making masks like crazy during this pandemic. And now you're like, but I wanna learn how to quilt. So this step is for you. Get yourself lined up on your mat and get that edge cleaned off. Now the mat doesn't matter anymore. Now this ruler is your guide because it is the width that we need to be cutting or little rectangles too. So we'll just line that up. We'll cut our two and a half and you just keep cutting them all the way down. Once you have your uh, sections cut, you'll just place opposite sides, right sides together, and that's the interlocking seam. You kept pressing uh, either to the red or the blue, pick your favorite color. We just chose the red, but that is what gives us that beautiful interlocking seam right there. And that's when your patchwork pins will come into play, pinning in there. And if you feel the need, pin in here. And again, we're going to use our 
uh, aids as needed to sew our quarter inch seam allowance and we'll just be pressing open. So let me just show you what that looked like. That's all just to save us some time. You already saw me sew that with the seam guides. You're just sewing that and then pressing open. Okay. So you'll need a total of five of your four patch units to make one of the blocks. And it's a total of four blocks. So that'll be a total of 20 of your four patch units. Easy peasy, right? No problem. Let's move right on to our half square triangles. These are going to finish at four inches. In our pattern, we have you cutting your squares to five inches because that's a little going to give us a little bit of room to square up. The rule of seven eighths applies to half square triangles. So if you want a half square triangle unit sewn into our block, this is a 12 inch block finish, that will be finishing at four. So the normal rule of thumb is to add seven eighths of an inch, cutting your squares to four and seven eighths. But it doesn't give you any room to square up, and we know we want to have our blocks just perfect. So we've cut our squares to five inches, and now what we do is either draw the line corner to corner and sew on either side, or we actually use the Creative Grid seam guide where we just place this diagonal to diagonal. And I used a friction pen and we're just drawing on either side and you're sewing on the drawn lines. I love that. Once that's done, we will be cutting that apart. And we'll press the seam open. That one seemed to give us a, a flatter block in the end. Sometimes I'm like, should I press the seams open or press to the sides? With our four patch, we realized there was an advantage to pressing to the side because we got interlocking seams. We don't need to have interlocking seams when it comes to our half square triangles in this instance. So I'm just going to press those open. But remember how I said I upsized those. That's where the spinning mat and the four and a half inch creative grade ruler is going to come into play because I need to trim just a little bit. That line is laying right along my diagonal and I'm going to position it so that I can trim a little bit off of each side of my half square triangle. The spinning mat means I don't need to be lifting up my fabric. I get to rotate around that, which is going to result in a much more accurate cut. And I'm not making any dangerous cuts, maybe back toward myself or under my arm. I've done all those crazy things and realized it was probably the right time to invest in a spinning mat. My blocks are more accurate and I'm not making any dangerous cuts that maybe I would have been tempted to do or did do. So those days are done for me. So if you're thinking about a spinning mat, well worth it for accuracy, but more importantly, safety. These come in two sizes, the 12 inch, and I think the other one's a 17 if you're making some bigger blocks. Four half square tri triangle units are required per block. So let me just move some of this out of the way. In fact, I'm going to move that out. And we're just going to lay out our block. Very straightforward, always right, uh, red in the right side of our block. You know why I recommend that you lay out your block? And you guys know all my true confessions come, come on video. <laughs> because I have before thought I understood the, uh, uh, the arrangement of the block. It is very easy to sew blocks together in the wrong arrangement. We do that here at Shabby Fabrics and, and we're supposed to be professionals, right? It happens, it just happens. So take that extra time, lay out your block, double check your, um, looks like we had an extra there. Double check your, your pattern, make sure everything's looking correct. I'm gonna make sure I've got that right. Red is always in the upper right. That looks correct to me. So let's just, we're gonna lay this over for you to see that. You can see that there's bulk in every part of, of um, sewing these together. So when we made the decision after we sewed this together, do you press to one side or the other? Press open made more sense to us. So you're just right side together, right side together, right side together, press those seams open. Here comes the other side, again, pressing the seams open, and then you're just sewing the rows together. So you can see, 
as I said, even if you are just a beginner, you can absolutely do that. Repeat that for a total of four blocks. Of course, you'll be sewing those blocks together, pressing those seams open, and then you're on your way to getting that quilted. So thanks for giving me a couple minutes of your day to show you this really fun new project made with the American Dream Collection from Riley Blake. I'll see you soon.